Welcome to Indie Resources, how to make a browser-based MWORG video 28, I believe. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, we're going to work on guilds, and I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do the guild system pretty much live, not build it before, build it while we go. Um, so <laughs> excuse all my mistakes that I'm probably going to be making through this, as I do things really quick, and sometimes I like to just, if it errors, it'll it'll tell me what the error is, and so I just would rather instead of going back and checking everything just go ahead and let it error tell me where the line is and fix it so probably gonna see a lot of errors and you're gonna see me do a lot of cheating a lot of copying code and, and pasting it and stuff like that but that's just how I do it um, but I feel that if I there's still a lot I still get a lot of questions about about building certain aspects to the game that we've already kinda covered maybe just not that certain aspect and it it's really the same thing the thing about PHP and building these browser games and with the querying is it's all basic one method. You're just kind of copying it. It's just like with the the difference between like with the quest log and the you know the backpack or even the equipment. You know, it's the same queries. It's the same overall method of what we're doing. We're just adding things to the database and taking them away. And a lot of a lot of ways, it's it is the same. It's just we're we're doing it in two different aspects. And that's what we got. That's that hump we got to get over. Is that being able to understand. The um, that it's all the same thing. You're just finding new ways of, of of putting in those queries, and so that's why I'm hoping working on this, doing this uh, guild system live may help do that because that's what I'm going to do here. So uh, thinking about it a little bit, I haven't really did a whole lot of thinking on it. Now I have built built guild systems before, and I was thinking about just pulling those out of my old game and putting them in here. And I was like, well, let's just start from scratch and start over. So the first thing we need to do is have the ability to build a guild. Um, and I'm thinking what we can do is we can just put that in locations, in any of these locations. So let's go to our index first, which is the only page I have open right now. Um, so let's look at our menu, which is down here. In the, and the no other thing is I'm building on like three or four different games right now. I'm doing the other tutorial series. So there's a lot of things in this thing I've forgotten, so I may be doing a lot of searching. But anyway, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and copy this, and where do we want to put it? Let's just put it right here, and let's change this to build guild. And we'll do, um, eh, let's just call it create, or let's just call it start guild. And to keep it kind of simple, we'll start guild.php. And we'll save that, and if you want, you can refresh and check it, and there we go. we got Start Guild. Of course, it doesn't go anywhere. So, let's create a new file. Make sure it's PHP, create, and we'll just name it Start. Sorry, i got a million different projects. And we'll call it uh, Start guild.php there we go we got our page now where I'm gonna cheat is let's go ahead and just make sure everything follows the same line so let's just take all of this all the way down to okay yeah so we just want to go right here to the right there Oops. Okay. So let's see what that does. There we go. So now we're sitting at a blank page, and that's kind of where we want to be. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and tell you, we could put this in a, and I'm sure you guys have already done it, we could put all this in an include, and that way all I'd have to do is type in include so-and-so, and all this would be done. But for now, we'll, we'll just do it the way we got it. Um, so now let's... Let's start, let's put in a title in here. Let's just put, and I could drop down and you do it all in HTML, but I'm just going to do it, or outside of the um, HTML, but I'm going to, uh, come on, Dream, Dreamweaver kills me sometimes. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it in PHP just to make it easier. Um, Let's just call it uh, Guild. And to be honest with you, we probably should do this a little differently, and I think we will. Because we're going to want to be able to visit the Guild. 
which I guess we'd do that on the side panel anyway. So no, let's 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 do it. Let's just do it here. Um, guild creation. That's what we'll call it. And we'll drop it a couple lines. And the the next thing we need to do is we need to see if they've already created a guild. So we probably want to see if player O three is guild. And I know this isn't created yet. We're gonna create it. Is guild equals one is no we'll do guild ID that way we can we can say what the guild ID is then we'll do does not equal oops does not equal zero and that means they've already created that means they're already in a guild or created a guild is what that will mean and that way they can't be in more than one guild you are already part of another guild we'll just do an exit that way they get no other option they're out of here so let's just uh... let's go into our database once again i have to go through my millions of different databases Okay, and then we need to go to players and we're just going to insert a line down there another field that's called um, what do we call it? is guild uh, guild ID we're going to make it integer I'm going to make it a medium at six I doubt there's going to be that many guilds but if you plan on having a million players you might want to think on that even a million I doubt each one is going to have their own guild but anyway and then we want to default it as defined in zero which it should anyway but I'm gonna do it just to be safe so let's save that so right now I'm my guild ID for my player is going to be zero so if we go in here whoops and we refresh you'll see that we're there now if we actually had let's go ahead and test it uh, I keep going the wrong direction and let's edit this and let's change it to say he's in guild ID 23 and we go back you'll see you're already part of another guild and you're pretty much done so that kind of stops that but let's put them back to zero so we can create a new guild okay back to our square one okay so next we want to do is the option to create a guild so let's um here's something where another thing I'm going to introduce I'm going to introduce a couple constants in this uh, in the game so you don't have to actually search through code to change things but um, let's go ahead and do it cost um, guild price gold to build a guild let's say start a guild another thing I want to do is I want to put a little period right there and where we're going to get that from is we're going to start a new include we're going to call them just constants.php you could actually put it in logo or even connect to be honest with you it would probably be better that way you don't have to go through every single file let's do that so let's open up our connect because you know that's going to be there um, let's go to our connect and we'll just define some constants down here the first one's going to be guild price 
equals, and for now let's just make it 100 gold. And so that way you don't have to dig through. And what we can do is we can set guild price, we can set, um, and you could do this in the database, but it's just one query I don't want to have to do. So you could set, um, you could set a lot of different variables here. Instead of having to search through the code on every single file, you can just change it here and it'll automatically change it in every file. It's just a lot easier, easier way of doing it. Um, okay, so it, to start a price. Now, to start a guild, so you can do a couple things here. Either you can have it check now to see if they have enough money, or you could have it check after they attempt to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So let's go ahead and do if player info 3. Uh, did we have it on? Was it called gold? I believe it was. Gold. Wait, is less than guild price echo you do not have enough gold to start a guild and you can do come back when you do or whatever else but I'm not too worried about it I'm just gonna make things real simple and we're going to exit out of there so they can't go any further. So let's make sure we got all this. Looks good. Uh, one thing I want to check because I haven't checked this in a long time is what are we using for money? Are we using the word gold? Yeah, we are. So so let's let's attempt this. Let's look at um, and then now we can do the um, uh, how do we want to say this? We just want to do a link or a button or I guess we'll do kind of a, a form is what we'll do and you know a lot of things that I'll do which I know we could sit here and write out this whole form or whatever but to be honest with you we could just run up here to um, log in grab this little form right here copy it probably should do register be a little more and now we can spit out this form now what you're gonna have to do you don't want to put it in the HTML outside the PHP because then it it's possibly going to run and then they're going to have the ability to do it but if you put it in the actual um, I'm going to do this real quick I'm going to replace all of that all the quotes with the single quotes and the selected text that'll make it a little easier on me okay so we're going to put it in now we're going to do we're going to put it back to start guild and we're going to do guild name. Um, uh, what else do we want? Guild name. Uh, for now, maybe that's all we should put. I'm trying to think of anything else we'd want to actually define in there. Um, let's do uh, guild um, welcome message. Input type text name. We're gonna just gonna call it name. Size 21 sounds good. Guild welcome message. We're gonna do um, welcome, and then we'll do size. Uh, we don't want it too long, so we'll just do 80. And then we'll do a value of create guild. All that looks good. I don't know that we need that. Um, yeah, that should work just fine. So let, let's just test this a little bit, just to just to see. Ah, there we go. Line 49. Let's check out 49. What do we got going on here? Oh, that's what. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Okay, so I have enough money, which this looks really ugly. We got to fix, but because I do have enough money. Um, Let's let's fix this. This makes me sick. Let's do a break right there, and then let's go ahead and put in that break that we had. And let's look at that again. A little better. That'll work for now. You guys can 
make it a little nicer on your end. I'm not going to worry about this too much. One thing I am going to do is drop a break right here. And we're going to refresh. What happened? That's kind of weird. But anyway, oh, anyway, I'm not too worried about it. So you can come in here and put this. Now, real quick before I end this video and we start the next, let's um let's test something. Let's go into our connect and let's change the constant to 300. Let's refresh it and it goes to 300 and you see I do not have enough you do not have enough gold to start the guild so that's an easy way to kind of manage things when it, when it comes to that um, one thing we're going to need to do is just put a little link that says go back to the index page or whatever and we'll, we'll do that in the next video